since its introduction for the 2016 model year, the Mercedes-AMG GT has been steadily accumulating variants. First there was the GTS, then came the base GT, then the GTR, then the Roadster, and finally a GTC, available in both coupe and Roadster trim levels. While on paper they're clearly differentiated, when looking at the stats, you can also see that they're seemingly not that different. So is there really a discernible difference between them in reality? After driving the range in Germany, we can comfortably say yes. We can also tell you that the GTC is the version you want. The Mercedes-AMG GTC is the happy medium between the track Hungary GTR and the lesser GT and GTS versions. This is clear even just by looking at the car. Though it shares the normal nose of the entry-level GTs, the GTC has the widened hips of the GTR. The rear bumper is unique to the GTC, since it features extra vents like those on the GTR, but not the full diffuser and center exhaust. This blend of normal GT and GTR on the outside sets the stage for how the car drives. Under the hood is the familiar twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 used across the GT line. The GDC takes advantage of the GTR's bigger turbochargers to make 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque. That's nearly 80 more horsepower than the regular GT, and about 35 more than the GTS. It only makes for a difference of two tenths of a second to get to 60 miles per hour between the normal GT and the GTC, but it's absolutely a difference you can feel, both for better and for worse. It pulls noticeably harder than a regular GT, but with the larger turbos, there's some noticeable lag when hitting the throttle. Still, that split-second pause is worth the extra shove. The GTC 